Now, Rupert Murdoch announced that he will step down as chairman of his global media empire, a behemoth that shaped politics across continents. However, Thursday's upheaval is far from the end of the story. Here's more on the conservative kingmaker, the leadership transition and the impact on global media. Now, Australian-born Rupert Murdoch built a global entertainment and news juggernaut instrumental in events from the Margaret Thatcher era to the rise of Donald Trump. Fox Corp and News Corp announced that he will step back at the age of 92 starting mid-November. In a letter to co-workers, Murdoch drew a line under a remarkable career that saw him rise from local news in Australia's Adelaide to amassing a stable of legacy newspapers in the UK and US before launching into broadcast media. Aggressive tabloids like The Sun and New York Post have, uh, and The Wall Street Journal and big-hitting television networks like Fox and Sky have turned the Murdoch family into some of the world's most influential figures. But the operations news division has drawn frequent criticism under his leadership for blurring the line between commentary and journalism. The former Australian Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, said that Murdoch had done enormous damage to the democratic world. Look, Rupert Murdoch had a profound effect on the conservative movement in America um, in terms of, of splitting the conservative movement away from its traditional principles of individual responsibility, limited government, the rule of law, and encouraging a newer version, a more modern version of authoritarian populism that was much more driven by conspiracy theories, much more driven by grievance and imaginary oppression. Um, and, and I think that's a legacy that eventually will be seen in the fullness of time as having corroded the conservative movement in a fundamental way rather than actually supporting it. It was a sugar high. Murdoch was typically unapologetic, taking a parting shot at what he called the elites who had open contempt for outsiders. The tycoon leaves behind a trail of media scandals. I think Rupert may just be uh, about the last of the founder moguls in the media business. And you think about people like Ted Turner uh, in, in that regard, for example, Sumner Redstone and now Rupert Murdoch and maybe a nod to John Malone, who's still at it. But but uh, the, the kind of high profile media mogul, I think, was exemplified by the group I just mentioned. And, and Rupert is, is the remaining stalwart there. Now, the transition of leadership to Mur Murdoch's son, Lachlan Executive Chair and Chief Executive Officer at Fox Corporation, follows a period of intense speculation about the media empire's leadership plans. Now, in his farewell, Memo Rupert Murdoch indicated that the family media companies would maintain their right-wing bent. He said his own father had believed in freedom and that Lachlan Murdoch is absolutely committed to the cause. Under the terms of the Murdoch family trust that controls the media empire, Lachlan and James, along with sisters Elizabeth and Prudence, will have an equal vote on the business after the death of Rupert Murdoch. New York University professor Jay Rosen says that the scramble for control will happen when Rupert Murdoch dies.